What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Midwest Family. Got Barrett here with me today. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to start some seeds. It is February and for us, I believe that is usually the time we start, uh, you start like your peppers and stuff inside. Um, so we got this big old starter tray here. We're not going to use all this. Um, I don't. We'll probably not even fill up one of these. So I probably should have got a smaller, smaller tray. Um, but we picked up some starter mix, and we got some seeds here. I cut out some little tags here, uh, and we're going to try to tag them on. Um, the plastic somewhere Ooh, here. Oh, we had his sticks. Yeah, or stick something sticks. so we, we know what's what. But uh, we're going to get this mix opened up and get rolling. All right, so we used this tray last year, um, but we're going to, we rinsed it out. We let it dry, washed it out. Um, so we're going to get this opened up and uh, fill our trays in. Dirt. Yummy dirt for plants. Yummy dirt. What's that white stuff? I don't know. Are your hands clean? Are they clean? Yeah. All right, we'll spread it into the deals. Okay. What if they're full? Well, we want... I think that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah, we can... Try break. not to get it on the table. Okay. And break up them. I can break the break the machine. Or... Oh, there's some... So we're doing it outside on our porch instead of inside. Making a mess. Making a mess outside. That would be easier because I want you to have to do this. Just leave it. So. That's easy. But it's also. Look at that. You need some yummy dough. Here, I can show you up. Um, according to the bag, it says to fill them up, not all the way, but close to the top. Here, let's just pan up there. Don't, you don't want to smush it, though. Yep. You want to keep it loose. So it's a nice uh, February day here. We got the, uh, the smoker going. We got some ribs going on the smoker. Um, decide, you... Decided not to do a video on that because we've already done one of those. Um, but if you haven't seen that one, we'll put a link up in the corner. Check it out. They're really good. Yeah, super duper good. Probably a faster way to do this, but yeah, but I don't know why. I don't. I don't know how. All right, we have two types of tomatoes. We have the tomato uh, tomato beef steak. We have used these seeds last year. I picked up a package of burpee tomato sandwich slicer hybrids. Um, so we'll see how those turn out. I got some sweet pepper carnival blend. I got some Cajun bell pepper seeds left over from last year. Some uh, green pepper, uh, green bell peppers, and the leftover jalapenos from last year. For last one, like the, the beginning of the year. So we're gonna, which one should we do first? I don't know. So should we do like, 
Let's do the tomato ones first. Let's, How about that? Let's do two rows of tomatoes. We'll do one row of the beef steak, and then we'll do one row of the other ones. Beef steak should be. I have a guy who called me. So here. How many? Two. Okay. Here's the so you can drop it. Yeah, I think it just uh just lightly bury it. Like that? Yep. Okay. What I need is two more. We don't really eat tomatoes. We use it for salsa. Yeah. Homemade salsa. That's better. And um, store bought. It turned out pretty good last year. Yeah. So, tomato beef steak. Let's uh, let's, um, I don't know. Bubbles. How did that come up? Let's try this. It's hot. That might work. It might not. Alright. We'll try the... We'll do the tomato sandwich slicers next. Depth of a quarter inch. Six plus hours of sun. It says 70 days to harvest. So, 70 days to harvest it? Yep. Oh, that's not loud. How small are those? Looks just like those. Okay. I don't know how to do Just grab one. Just uh, grab one. Uh, put it in. This one? This one. It says sow seeds quarter inch deep into individual containers filled with seed starting formula. Keep moist. Seedlings emerge in seven to ten days, and at seventy to seventy-five degrees. I put that one super deep, like it said. Well, it's quarter inch isn't super deep. How quarter is? It's less than that. So okay, I did that one. I'm gonna grab those cup. Is it? Oh. How's it coming? Good. Fine. Tip, tip. What seed is that one? Tomatoes are done. What should we do next? The pe bell peppers. These? Yeah. So the carnival blend have multiple varieties. Um, on the package it says it includes 20% Orange Sun, 20% California Wonder, 20% Golden California Wonder, 20% Purple Beauty, and 20% Diamond. Um, I'm going to say that you're not going to know what you're planting. I so, hope they are the exact same colors. 
you, uh, I guess we'll just find out once they start to grow. Because the seeds all look the same. Oh. I see one different. See, you're making a mess already. Yeah. So that was that one. I'm just gonna put them up top and I'll take. Hey, too deep. Drop. 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 Not too. This one. Drop. There you go. Here's one. Alright, should we do two rows or just one row? Maybe. I think one row is fine. Okay. I think they would be all the same. And then we'll label that row. Alright. We'll do the green pepper next. And the jalapeno. So we'll have one empty row. So, but could we do maybe another? Let's do two rolls of those. No. One is okay. One is fine. I don't even know if we got enough. We only have two seeds. What? Okay. It's Only okay. two seeds left of the green pepper. Aww. So we'll. Uh, Let's have two. Let's do this one. Let's have two because we can. So and then do that one, and then we'll just fill these four with the carnival blend. Okay. Hello, carnival blend. That's so, two. Nope, that no, one. That one. That one. That was two. Oops. I got that. I'm going to pick it up. See? There's one more. Alright. Now let's bury. Okay. Is that two? No, just one. Alright. Put what would. Oh, yeah. We'll just label that one as a green bell pepper, even though most of them are not. What about we have and like... Then, oh wait, no. We still have the Cajun bells and the jalapenos to do. So we have more Cajun bells. So let's do the Cajun bells next. Okay. I don't know if you guys, if you guys saw these last year. Um, but they're nice little ones. Let me see. Nice little bell peppers. They got a little heat to them, but they're... Yeah, they do. All right. They're, like, hot. It's like, I wonder why these, my bell peppers are so hot. I was wondering that. Come on, fall off. You can get cranky. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. I, I, okay. All right. That was all of those. So we'll have to get more of those for next year. Oh. Still have some jalapenos. All right. To grow. 
Gage and Bill. Okay. I'm going to label this there, one. Okay. Last one. Jalapenos. The last one. Jalapenos. Jalapenos are my favorite. They got a little spots to them, though. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, we have a good eight or something, I think. Right there. Hey, Daddy, look. We have a good fairy. Well, you were burying them, I thought. So you buried some. Okay. Let's we'll set these inside. We'll drizzle some water on them. No, but but the water supposed to go down. There. I know, I know that. But at first, we'll put a little water on the top, just to get the dirt wet. And then this is the type of tray that waters it from the bottom up. Um, these trays have little slits on the bottom. So, um, it only gets as much water as it wants. All right, we'll tag this one. So I'll show you our tagging. Um, so I got them labeled on the side here. Uh, this is a lid that goes over the top. It helps keep them warm. I'm sure you guys know that, but but you got the labels on the side, so we'll keep that visible. We'll get some water on top. We'll find a spot, nice cozy spot inside. Hopefully a spot that the wife doesn't find too irritating. But you went to grab some water, so stick around. All right, so he got some water, a little uh, watering can. Yeah, my grandma got me it, but well, I don't like it because it doesn't have any roof, but it works. The sides work perfectly. All right, so just lightly water the tops. I'm scared. Is that? That's good. Okay. All right, so we got the seed tray moved inside. I don't think the wife wants these here, but it's the best spot we have right now. Uh, I'm looking at possibly getting a grow light. Uh, I don't think they get enough sun sitting in this window. Um, but we got them by the window. But this gets them wet for We got the lid on that helps keep the heat in. We put a little water on the top, as you saw. We put a little water on the bottom, in the bottom tray, uh, so that the water can get absorbed up from the bottom. But that is a wrap. So we can uh, we can give you a sneak peek of the ribs though if you want. So we'll do that quick. A little sneak peek for you at the ribs. They've been on since 11.30. It is uh, three o'clock now, but they still got a couple hours to go. But they're looking pretty tasty. <laughs> so those ribs, uh, like I said, we did a video on those before. And if you want to check that video out, we'll put it up in the corner and we'll put it down in the description below. But 
the so the seeds we got at a local uh, big box store the seedling tray you can get there the uh, starting mix we got there but uh, it was all locally uh, purchased you can find that stuff anywhere I'm not big on the seed stuff so I'm sure that some seeds might be better than others but that's the route we went this year but we uh, appreciate you guys sticking around watching we hope you stick around for the next one we'll see you next time stay safe